Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good so news of the gospel. Body. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service time. We This is the time we kind of try to forget all the things we've done today and just uh, have some fellowship with the Lord. You know, push everything else out of our mind and just think, talk, sing, and pray, and everything about the Lord. So we hope that you'll stay tuned because uh, it uh, you can we can all worship Him at the same time. That's the unique thing about the Lord. He can be every, Holy Spirit can be every place at one time. I have a few scriptures for those of you that were sick today and could not. Uh, a see to read Psalms 105 O give thanks unto the Lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the people sing unto him sing psalms unto him talk ye of all of his wonderful works glory ye in his holy name let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord seek the Lord in his strength seek his face evermore remember his marvelous works and and that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye see of, of Abraham, ye servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Psalms 105, the first eight verses. That's a that's a good long psalm. It uh, has 45 verses in it. I hope when you get able to see and to read that you'll read all of them. It's all good. Uh, to give thanks unto the Lord. And so that means on our good days and our bad days too. Sometimes, we're, of course, we feel a little more like it when things are going well, but it says to do it all the time. Well, just before we pray, we just had this <coughs> note called in from her brother Cecil. He said, uh, Glenda Spillman, the lady that comes and plays piano quite often, uh, her husband, Ronnie Sp Spillman, just a few minutes ago passed away. They're just, they're a young couple. They, uh, he, had, he had cancer and uh, had been really sick, but uh, so he, he just passed away. And we need to re remember also the, uh, that family, Glenda, the children, and uh, then Dr. Noble, a local doctor here, he passed away over the weekend. And uh, then we have uh, uh, Bonnie Best, uh, one of her phone operators. She's in Central Baptist Hospital with infection in her foot, and uh, they're not they're not seeming to get to the bottom of it as fast as we'd like. Uh, and Pam uh, Conway, she needs prayer. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we will do what this word says. We will praise you. We will give thanks to you because we know regardless of how our world changes or what happens, you're still God. You still love us. You haven't moved from your position. You haven't withdrawn the Holy Spirit from us. You're still here to help us and to give us strength, and we thank you for that. Bless these families, Lord, that are going through uh, the, the pain of loss and the ones that are just sick, Lord. Bless and help them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All right, our, our first song tonight I want to dedicate to my friend. She's just a little over 100 years old, and she's her name is Edna Thomas, and she just celebrated a big birthday, and uh, she has been a little under the weather, 
But she said she'd be right in front of She has a huge TV, so you all will be big stars tonight because she's got a big TV. And uh, But Edna's a wonderful friend, and we love her, and so we're so happy to have the Rose family uh, here tonight. And uh, everyone loves all these good old songs they sing. They do have CDs, and you may call them at 606-768-3137. They're from the Bethel Baptist Church in Frenchburg, Kentucky. Let's welcome the Rhodes Family Quartet.
reaches down and touches me. His love is an endless love and will last through all eternity. His love is love. July 4th weekend, and uh, but we need to be thankful for the freedoms that Amen. we enjoy and, uh, right. and uh, all the many, those that have sacrificed to, to give us the freedoms that we enjoy every day. I know we celebrate uh, this weekend, I guess, it's a little extra special, but we, en we enjoy those freedoms each and every day, right. each and every day as we live, so right. Mary, let's do this song, uh, Statue of Liberty. In New York Harbor stands a lady to the sky and all who see her know she stands for liberty for you and me I'm so proud
cross is my statue of liberty. Amen. I tell you what, thank God for that cross. Thank God for that Statue of Liberty right. and all those who fought and sacrificed to ensure our freedoms. And certainly we thank God for his sacrifice to give us eternal life with him forever. Going home. Let's sing a song. We'll feature Pap on this one. Many times in my childhood when we travel so far by night fall how weary I'd grow. Father's arms would slip round me so gently he'd say ago when dad filled in uh, pastor tim had back surgery and dad filled in he's you know he he uh, done a pretty good job he's only done it for about 55 60 years so uh, but he pray he preached one of my favorite messages mephibosheth yeah. and uh, and the king david when when he came into power he he sent after mephibosheth 
And Mephibosheth thought David had come to get him to kill him because he was of the lineage of the old regime. And uh, the the king sent his men and chariots to go. And as they all that royalty rode down the road to old Mephibosheth's house, he thought, well, Lord, what's the king doing here? He's come to get me, and he's going to kill me. Well, they loaded him up, and he was lame, so he couldn't walk. So they loaded him in the chariot, and they took him to the David's palace and and old Mephibosheth thought, well, David's going to, he's going to do it himself. He's not going to let these guys kill me. He's going to do it himself. And he got there, and David said, fear not. You're going to eat at my table for the rest of your life. What a, what a great Amen. message that Pat brought, and what a great story of the grace of God. So when you talk about meeting at the table, Listen, folks, if you don't know Jesus, if you're not certain of where you're going to spend eternity, I would implore to you to meet Jesus at his table. And, uh, and you'll eat with him throughout all eternity. Amen. Sing it, Rick. Have you made your preparation for the banquet he's prepared? Friend, you've got your invitation. Promise me that you'll be there. Can't you hear the master say when it's time to celebrate? Meet me at the table just inside the gate. Meet me at the table at the breaking of the bread. Meet me over yonder where the millions will be fed. Come and join our celebration. Heaven's wedding bells will ring. Meet me at the table of the king. Well, there's a way that you can make it. Though old Satan says don't try. Make that promise and don't break it. Then you'll meet me by and by. Just keep your lamps all trimmed and burning with no shadow of a doubt for the bridegroom he's returning don't you let your lamp go out yeah. meet me at the table at the breaking of the bread meet me over yonder where the millions will be fed come and join our celebration heaven's wedding bells will ring Meet me at the table of the king. Meet me at the table at the breaking of the bread. Meet me over yonder where the millions will be fed. Come on and join our celebration. Heaven's wedding bells will ring. Meet me at the table of the king. Come on and meet me at the table just inside the gate. Yeah. I look forward to meeting him at the table. You can look at us and tell we ain't got too far away from the table. But that's neither here nor there. I'm looking forward to meeting Jesus at his table. You know, and the way you meet him there is to know him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. We're all going to bow down before him on these days. All of us are. All of us. As we'll bow down before him as King of kings and Lord of lords. Whether you know him or not, I'd rather bow down before him knowing him. Amen. Knowing him as your Savior because he can sure change how you live here and especially how you live after this life. Love the Lord tonight. It's great to be here. I dreamed of a city called glory so bright and so fair when I entered the gates 
I cried holy the angels all met me there they carried me from mansion to mansion and oh the sights I saw but I said I want to see Jesus the one who died for all then I bowed on my knees and cried Holy, holy, I clap my hands and sang glory, glory to the sun. think about this song you think about those who have gone on before we all have loved ones that's on the other side my mama all of our loved ones sister Shannon just recently crossed over and you just picture in your mind when they get to those gates when I entered the gates of that city all my loved ones they knew me well then they led me through the streets of heaven oh the sights too many to tell. I saw Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. I saw Mark, Luke, and Timothy. But I said, I want to see Jesus Cause he's the one who died for me Then I bowed on my knees and cried holy great place where we all Amen. saved will be together That's right. for eternity and uh, this song goes right along with that <clears throat> this you know this uh, world an old song this world is not my home I'm just a passing through yeah. this song sort of goes like along with that somewhere beyond the grave there is a land Where Jesus went to prepare by his own hand. 
and for the saved by grace there is a resting place and in a few more days it will be mine some call again and things will not ever be as good as they've been but I've got good news for you when heaven comes into view one glimpse and you'll know yes you're going to know that the best Oh, it's yet to come. Some call it heaven. I call it home. Some call it dreaming. Let me dream on. Some call. your preparation right. for home when you leave this life as y'all heard requests tonight already there's folks that's already gone home to be with the Lord that, uh, you know earlier today they were here on earth but now they've gone uh, to to eternity and we just pray that you'll make your preparation that's right. for that final journey and and folks, we just uh, appreciate the opportunity to be part of this ministry. I right. know if this is your first time maybe tuning in, this is uh, just a listener supported. Those that watch, these, they're faithful partners. They send in donations or financial gifts to keep this ministry going forward. And uh, they're on each and every day, 24-7, and just spreading the good news of Jesus right. Christ. We've got a prayer line. You call in any time. The, the phone's numbers listed there on the screen call in if you got a prayer request or you just want to know more about this jesus this man jesus this right. savior this god that we're singing about tonight right. and uh, so please call in all right here's a song i mean it's just like a personal testimony that you know your song your testimony should never get too far from the cross and right. our story each and every one of us as a child of god it all started once upon a hill Somebody wrote my life story Though the ink never touched the writer's quill 
but now in heaven I'll live happy ever after Cause of my life story started once upon a hill Once upon a hill is all it took From hidden shame my heart's been changed My life's an open book It's never been a mystery A fiction became real Cause my life story started once upon a hill I've never laid us upon the author But it's clear to see he laid his hands on me My life story may not be the world's bestseller But they won't have to read between the lines to see that once upon a hill is all it took from hidden shame my heart's been changed my life's an open moon it's never been a mystery a fiction became real cause my life story started once upon a hill it's never been how the fiction became real Cause my life story started once upon a hill, a hill. Good job, Rick. What? It's a good job. I wish you could kind of get into it just a little more. Uh, Every now and then, but <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, we appreciate <laughs> Brother the, Rick. Who can do anything? Is that next? Yep, that's next. All right, we're going to try this. <laughs> I don't know, we struggled a little bit earlier, <laughs> practical, but it's yeah. been a long time, but I don't know, I just, yeah. the song came to mind today. And, uh, who can do anything? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> and, and, and when Dad, <laughs> if... You know we're struggling when Dad has to use the words, right? right? I mean, he re you never see a <laughs> songbook or anything in front of him, but this is one of those rare times he's got to use the words. All right, we'll see how it goes. Nobody but 
After I bow, boy, it's going to be a, I know it's one of John's favorites. I know he loves Amen. that song. But it's Amen. after I bow Amen. to the Amen. king.
Thank you so much. The Rhodes Family Quartet from Frenchburg, Kentucky. And they do have CDs, and uh, their phone number is 606-768-3137. And uh, as they bring Brother uh, Joseph up to uh, 
I want him to lead in prayer for all these calls that we have tonight. Uh, because uh, we, this first one here, she, uh, there's a lady that is called. She'd been in the hospital. She's having trouble with her medicine. But uh, she, uh, she needs prayer and said she loves Buddy Rhodes. Amen. There's one of your fans there. Is that right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> So that, uh, she said she loved you, so yeah. that's good. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it, uh, oh, we, we have, uh, uh, we have some more here. Uh, Sharon has a 12-year-old niece that has a, a appendix is uh, burst, and she's in mm. terrible pain. And, um. From Corbin, uh, all uh, several suffering from sickness. Joyce from Jessamine County for a grandson. He fell and broke his arm in four places. Uh, a former pastor from uh, Laurel County, colon cancer to Mark. Laurel County, uh, someone with kidney and bladder infection. Ruby from Pound, Virginia uh, is having some tests and also a so, uh, Kenneth has arthritis. And Nancy from Flemingsburg is uh, waiting for a kidney yeah. and she needs prayer. Uh, Emmanuel from Jackson County has health issues. And Peggy from Bertha County for uh, Louise and uh, Owen. Tammy from Montgomery County for her Aunt Jean. And then, of course, we had the, the news tonight about. Uh, Glenda Spielman's yeah. husband, Ronnie, had passed away just before we went on the air tonight. And uh, yeah. he'd been so sick. And yeah. uh, we just need to really pray for them. Yeah. And yeah. we need to pray for Bonnie uh, Bess. She's still in the hospital. And also for Pam Conway and the Dr. Noble family. Here's uh, someone called, said, you just enjoying the singing and to pray for her. And uh, Amen. that's what we do. Uh, we pray. Amen. And, uh, that's right. Uh, Amen. Then we we have one uh, here that uh, uh, some folk uh, some folk have called Rowan K. Faulkner from Laurel County. They're uh, called in a hundred dollar pledge Amen. in memory of Shannon. Amen. 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 And then, and then all the work, and then honor of all the work that she has done for the Lord. Amen. 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 Bless you, Margaret. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight at your invitation. That's right. You've told us, come boldly to the throne of grace. And what we ask in the name of Jesus, you would do it. That's right. Lord, you've heard all these requests, and you know there's many more out there that had needs that didn't call in. And God, some of them have spiritual needs. Some of them have material needs. Some of them have physical needs. Right. But we have a God that can take care of any of them and all of them. That's right. And God, we hold these up to you tonight. God, we ask that you would comfort those who are in sorrow tonight. Yes, Lord, I just pray. And God, we you pray. For those with spiritual needs, God, that yes. you would convict them, that you would open their eyes to their need, and God, give them the faith tonight even to call upon Jesus Amen. Christ and That's trusting right. him as their Savior and only hope of yes. heaven. And then, God, those that are sick in body, we know you're the great healer, and God, we just ask for your touch yes. upon yes. them. We pray, Lord, that you would restore their health and their strength. Yes. 
For those that might have material needs, we pray, God, that you would supply those needs to them. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus, who loved us and gave himself for us, with thanksgiving for hearing us, Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Well, well we have a, about two minutes, Brother Rhodes. What would you like to say to the people? Well, uh, this being our <laughs> uh, celebration of July the 4th, our birthday of our nation, you know, yeah. I'm concerned about the condition our nation is in now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Of course, for the first 150 years, there was no question, no doubt that we were a nation under God, a yes. Christian nation. Yes. But they begin to separate uh, church and state. I remembered when I was in uh, third and fourth grade that uh, we had uh, a Bible verse for every letter of the alphabet. We had to mm. memorize that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we memorized a verse for each letter of the alphabet. And, uh, you know, they opened uh, the morning with a uh, verse mm -hmm. of scripture and mm -hmm. prayer. And I just think how much better our country would be today if they'd done that. Amen. We had the Ten Commandments that taught uh, the children, you know, to love one another. Yes. And, to, you know, and uh, it would be so much better yes. if, if yes. we had that going on yes. today. And uh, I would just like to see a great revival yes. sweep this country. All right. That would be wonderful. Um, so uh, we appreciate so much all uh, you you folk coming tonight. Amen. And, uh, Glad to be here. And uh, Rick, right quick, tell about your Sunday program. Yeah, we come on at four o'clock every Sunday here on WLJC, and we get a lot of calls. We see a lot mm -hmm. of people out that talk about our four o'clock service. So mm -hmm. we're thankful for WLJC and what you do here. Okay. All right. We're out of time. So uh, from all of us, we want to say good night. And God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.